Hey guys, so the new BKK looks to hit the market. today about the new BKK hooks, the inline, the heavy inline um, that have hit the market. It's a really nice hooks and like I said, so it's, a, it's got an inline hook point, so it's in line with the shank, it's got a straight eye. Um, there's an ultra anti rust coating, which is really nice because um, once, once you've used the hook, um, what often happens to other um, hooks is the point starts to rust a little bit, it becomes blunt as such, uh, similar to the barb. Um, so this tends to last longer, so you can reuse it. It's also made of a, it's a nice steel, it's not a brittle steel. Um, so it doesn't break. Um, it starts, it was a factory uh, stress test done and uh, it started bending at about 35 kilos of pressure. To put it in perspective, I mean, the Sarah goes to 25 k and is about 15 kilos of drag. So you shouldn't be bending these hooks open unless it's hooked really funny or if you're leading the fish um, APP, then, um, then maybe. But these hooks are, they're really nice, strong. The past week I used them a lot, I used them flat out. Caught about a ton of fish from them, literally, and um, yeah, it comes from, goes from a 1.0 all the way to a 10 -o. So, uh, what I mostly used uh, the last week was the 10 and the 9.0. Um, I used the 10 on a on a full metal jacket um, trace, fishing for raggies, bigger bronzies, stuff like that. Um, the 9 -o I used on a, a bar trace, longer bar trace with tennis jacket string and a short one, fishing for frays, <coughs> diamonds and things. And yeah, it's a really nice hook. And the reason I, I really enjoy these hooks comes particularly from a competitive point of view. Um, what I mean by that is, if I'm using the 10 -o, I can catch 4 kilo hounds, 5 kilo hound sharks, we even caught sand sharks on them and we caught sharks as big as 200 kilos, 200 kilo raggies. Um, I'll add the picture. And um, so it's really nice because in the competition, all points are good points. So it's really nice to have all you can catch anything on. And particularly areas like J Bay, Strace Pie, areas where there's a variety of species in one place. So if you're just any fisherman also that wants to enjoy a variety of species during the day. It's nice to have a hook you can catch everything with. And that's why I, I really enjoy these hooks. So guys, so like I said, they make a hook right through from a 1 to a 10 -er. Another hook we used quite a bit was the 6 -er. um, It's a really nice hook for cop. Um, and then also your flat fish like blue rays, um, sand sharks, stuff like that. So I fished it uh, like that. A little piece of a small dingle dangle, just not a float and a little piece of steel. Um, used it for cob, we weren't very successful with the cobbler strip. Uh, the waters were too infested by the sharks. Um, but we, we caught a couple of sand sharks and blue rays and stuff like that whilst fishing for the cob. And yeah, this hook worked really well. I'm keen to put it properly through its paces and particularly targets on cob on it. So yeah, throughout the week, um, we used a lot of different baits. Um, we fished a lot of loud mullet, uh, just throwing some loud mullet over the drop-offs, catching greys, bags. For that I used the, the, the tenno. Um, and then I also used a lot of mackerel heads. Mackerel heads with some mackerel cut that's on and a bit of chokka. Good for, good for J-Bay and targeting the diamonds, greys. We even caught some, some younger male bags on it. Um, and for that I used the Nino. Um, we caught some we caught some really awesome fish and I'm very happy to follow the results. Um, yeah, cool. If there's anything you guys would uh, like to see, like, subscribe, comment, check it out.